Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginner zoo video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to reach the functional level of your Active Directory domain and forest using a Windows PowerShell. In the last video, we saw the steps to raise Active Directory domain and forest functional level using a GUI tool. In that video, I also covered the basic concepts of domain and forest functional levels. You can also check out that video. The link to that video is given in the description area. Before raising the functional level of a domain, few prerequisites have to be fulfilled. The minimum requirement is a membership in the domain admins or enterprise admins group or an equivalent. All the domain controllers in the domain must run a version of the operating system that is compatible with the new functional level. Check and ensure that AD replication is working properly in your domain and forest. You can check the Active Directory replication health using the Rap Admin tool or with Windows PowerShell. Once these requirements are met, the functional level of a domain can be raised. In this video, we will use Windows PowerShell to raise Active Directory domain and forest functional levels. For this demo, we have single domain Active Directory forest named msftwebcast.com with two Windows Server 2022 domain controllers. Already, I have checked all the prerequisites. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell. Type command wrap admin slash REPL summary and hit enter key to check replication summary. No error, no failure in replication summary information. You can also use command wrap admin slash show REPL to view replication summary information. Under inbound neighbors, we can confirm that the last attempt of Active Directory replication was successful. So from the output of both commands, we can confirm that replication between both domain controllers is successful. Before we raise the domain functional level of an AD forest, we will first upgrade the functional level of all the domains in the forest. Let me clear the screen. To check the current domain functional level using Windows PowerShell, run the command get -ad domain pipe format list name and domain mode. Let's press Enter key to execute the same delete. We can see the name of our Active Directory domain, which is MSFT Webcast, and the domain mode is Windows 2012 R2 domain. So in our case, the domain functional level is set to Windows Server 2012 R2. We want to raise the domain functional level to Windows Server 2016. Type cmdelete set-ad domain mode hyphen identity msftwebcast.com hyphen domain mode windows 2016 domain. Here msftwebcast.com is our domain name and windows 2016 domain is for domain functional label. Hit enter key to execute the same delete. Type y and hit enter key again. The domain functional label is raised successfully. Let's again check the domain functional label using get half an ad domain same delete. Let's press enter key. We can confirm that the current domain functional level is Windows Server 2016. Now wait for the Active Directory replication to complete and verify that all domain controllers report that the domain functional level is now Windows 2016 domain level. The amount of time this takes will depend on your application topology. Type command wrap admin slash sync all and hit enter key to initiate replication between your domain controllers. Again, type command wrap admin slash repl summary and hit enter key. Let's wait for a few seconds to complete Active Directory replication. Since we have both domain controllers in the same Active Directory site, the replication will complete it instantly. Now, we can raise the forest functional label. Let me clear the screen. First, let's check the current forest functional label using Windows PowerShell. Type cmdelete get-ad forest pipe format list 
name and forest mode. This command will display the current forest functional label. Hit enter key. We can see the Active Directory forest name which is msftwebcast.com in our case and the forest mode is set to Windows Server 2012 R2 label. We want to raise forest functional label to Windows Server 2016. Type command set hyphen ad forest mode hyphen identity msftwebcast.com hyphen forest mode windows 2016 forest. Here msftwebcast.com is our forest name and windows 2016 forest is for forest functional label. Hit enter key to execute this same delete. Type y and hit enter key again. The forest functional label is raised successfully. Let's again check the forest functional label. We can confirm that the current forest functional label is at Windows Server 2016 level. Keep in mind that if you have not upgraded the domain functional label on any of the domains in the forest, the set ad forest mode command returns with an error. This will be the error which you will receive in Windows PowerShell. Wait for Active Directory replication to complete and verify that all domain controllers in the forest report that the forest functional label is now at Windows Server 2016 label. Since we have single domain Active Directory forest in our test environment, the changes will be reflected instantly. After updating the domain functional label, you must restart the Kerberos Key Distribution Center service on all domain controllers. Let me clear the screen as we are going to restart KDC service on our both domain controllers. Type command restart hyphen service, type service name KDC and hit enter key to restart the KDC service on local domain controller. Type command get hyphen service KDC hyphen computer name WS2022 hyphen DC02 pipe restart hyphen service. Here WS2022 hyphen DC02 is the host name of our second domain controller. Hit enter key to restart KDC service on our second domain controller. So we have successfully restarted KDC service on our both domain controllers. Starting with Windows Server 2008 R2, you can roll back the forest and domain functional level after you have raised them. The minimum target domain functional level that you can downgrade to is Windows Server 2008. You can't roll back to Windows Server 2008 functional level after enabling the AD Recycle Bin feature. To roll back the domain of forest functional level, you have to compulsory use a Windows PowerShell. You can't do that using GUI tools. That's all for this video on how to raise Active Directory domain and forest functional label using Windows PowerShell. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.